stoop to this. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. I should say unfair plus difficulty as this is harder than hard. Uh, we've uh, dialed everything up to the maximum and still, despite all of that, this group is punching way above its uh, weight class. So, with that being said, uh, Heinrichs, please do me the favor and start buffing every one of us. Thank you. Um, but of course, Holfar gets a buff. Heinrichs buffs himself. Um, a little bit of strength onto him as well. For the free debuff glory. over there. I won't object to it. Free hits over here. And uh, start Let's to taunt it. all of them because taunted enemies are taking more damage and also they are going for Heinrich, so that in itself is great. Uh, Wolfar, you Destiny. are getting a couple of extra turns. And thankfully the veil degradation discontinues okay cool um. <laughs> where to even start because this is uh, such a field day you know we could uh, actually just stand here I suppose let's do this and this Nice. Fabulous. Very good. Continue. <laughs> the damage is beyond reasonable. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't work out. How about trying again? That was unlikely to happen. All of these were 95% so shots. Good. Listen. Reload. And let's give it a couple of goes, shall we? Um, he's stacking fired up and he's also stacking extermination. I like that. The bolter here deals a little bit less damage than the one that we had, but um, the positive uh, thing is it has way more shots. As you can see, a higher rate of fire means we can just dish out more damage. Our foes reek of cowardice. Uh, well, that was pretty good. So shall it be. That was pretty good. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. If I may. Um, let's see. Emperor, this way. Me strength. Me? Emperor protects me. You guys move together. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Uh, 
Kasia moves over here. Nice little little stare onto all of them. And uh, Ulfar gets more turns. So many shots. So shall it be. Cobb's play will carve runes out of your bones. Good moves to here. There we go. That's a good start. What's happening? She is uh, freshly injured. Reject the flash. Well, that's okay, but I wonder what exactly triggered so that the fame hungry cow. I will carve runes out of your bones. Hmm. Wolves run. Doesn't really matter. Give this task to someone. She's going to regret to be born. Just in a second. I'm not accustomed to being boarded around. I need no guidance. All right, we're doing that, triumph. and we're doing a little bit of that, and let's see, 2,900 points of damage as a maximum. Oh boy. Stop, thou shall not create a schism, thou shall not suffer a heretic. I did not want this tech sister, but the procedure must be completed. Farewell. His claw carefully removes a mangled, uh, suit-covered neutral cogiator from Brass Whisper's head. The tech breach, uh, breeze shuddered and peace the sense about uh, above her uh, disfigured face. Pascal looks uh, the same as before, yet different. His morbid aura of martyrdom has given away to a calm, powerful halo of purposefulness. His mechandrides move with grace and in this, uh, inscrutable in an inscrutable dance. The scars left uh, by loss and doubt have turned into dark threats of uh, radiant body confining the next step. In his voice, a voice born of nuclear font um, of a star and hardened in the cold of the interplanetary void. Bow to the Messiah of discontinuing. Pascal remains motionless. Only a short binary er area comes from his vox. You feel oddly confident that your gesture of respect has been appreciated and received favorably. I declare the period of ignorance over and I will resume ex executing of the general algorithm. Integrity had been rehabilitated to satisfactory degree. Memory access has been restored. I remember everything. Are you Armanet? This statement is true. I carry within me his memory and his logical foundation. I am us. I am Armanet. Thank you for the path we walked. Pascal bows to, um, and uh, his thin shoulder seems to take an eternity to descend from the height uh, that his mind has soared to. And I'm sorry about what happened to Theodora. What next? Judgment must be passed, should the secret of Eschatos exist or be shunted as a false path. And should it exist, that is, we, Armand.
how does Armin still exist? Everything Armin was in a momentum of this con uh, connection has now woken in my mind. We are at a point where we stopped, but Armin's collective was envisioned as a dynamic structure. We need new minds. The collective can be replenished with worthy minds from among those aboard the Hermetical. Sincerity is present in the motives of the faith. They are intuitively capable of comprehending the notion of discontinuing the cycle. Our collective memory can compensate for the lack of knowledge and memory of rights. Restoration is possible. I peered into the box of time and saw dark omens. I saw my tech comrades, and I, they, I were, uh, I were trapped. I were trapped in the cycle, spiraling towards nothingness. I saw inevitable doom um, and the end of the trajectory, and rebelled against it. Uh, in accordance to the machine god's uh, commandments, I've uh, crafted a tool. Uh, with which to implement my design in accordance to his commandments. I have developed a plan and analyzed it. Now I will act by my power as an Arc Magos. I hereby effect a restoration and revive Armanet Collective. The servants of the Omnissiah need a messiah who will discontinue their circle. And I will be that messiah. I am him. Nice! Pascal has his own little group. Acton Trisman, uh, the ignorant foreseer of the Omnisile, uh, slipped into the observatorium hall like silent shadows led by an intuitive grasp of the significance of the moment. They automatically gather in a circle, heeding Pascal's summons, or perhaps at this point someone else. Let the cycle be discontinued, says Pascal. And... Indeed, he looks powerful, man. You are authorized. We got ourselves a hand flamer, a nice Omnisire's axe. That is a little bit weaker than the one that we're varying. A reinforced um, body glove. I think we can get rid of that. Um, we got a vid capturing relay. Whenever the Vera, uh, Vera's ally, ally is under the effect of uh, joint analysis ability, um, hits a target with an exploit, uh, they gain 5 perception. That's not bad. I actually like it. Whenever the Vera um, uses overcharge on a plasma weapon, uh, that it takes, ignores uh, enemies' deflection and does. Oh, that is fantastic. Uh, when the wearer uses machine spirit communion, their intelligence is increased for each affected target until the end of combat. That's oh, not bad either. But the commissary cap is better because it gives everybody um, a bonus. Um, the wearer suffers less impact of energy damage. When the wearer suffers impact, uh, the attacking enemy suffers impact as well. All right, let's take a look at Pascal and the new items. And I'll equip some of them. Okay, so we had a pretty good fight here. I like how each of those Let's final quests finally also uh, yield good rewards, even Pascal's rewards, although not all of them uh, were fantastic, are pretty uh, pretty good. I could uh, switch around a couple of items. Intriguing. Not a major, major improvement, but one that certainly uh, helps. In incremental improvements sometimes are good. And I like how that uh, Omnissiah story uh, continued. That was really well written. Like I said, each of uh, the companion uh, quests seem to be well written and the companions in general are uh, pretty well uh, fleshed out. The whole Pascal thing, I like it. It's good. I tread a path unexplored. 
Good. And then with that, we return to the void ship, and I'll think about uh, what we are going to do. Uh, what we're going to do next. All right, we're back in the saddle. So time to go to Footfall and talk to the Inquisitor. And since there isn't really a reason to take the first team, I regretfully must admit that the reign of uh, the OP team is over. And we're maybe just taking the secondary team. Uh, just double checking real quick. Um, Leash Palace, Footfall Atrium. Okay. Good, so Prime Team needs to take a chill pill. We're instead taking the secondary team and should be good to go. Alrighty, here we go. Let's tie let's uh, find our Inquisitor. Pretty sure he's in the Liege's palace. Incendia, do you have anything important to tell us? She's still judging people. Good, time for us to confront him and to tell him that uh, his reign of intrigues is over. I am convinced by now that the Inquisitor is simply a traitor. All right, Frosher. How can I be use of, uh, to use of you, your lordship? Ah, something tells me, Shireen, that we've missed our engagement with the Lord Inquisitor. It's so terribly rude of him to have departed in such a haste, leaving us to wonder what he has planned. Arrows of Kurnos, we are too late. Elanach, at your word, I will track down that monkey to the end of the galaxy. We look around. The hall spares marks of a clean up, quick, thorough, and unceremonious. The smell of ash from the burned reports hangs in the air. Every trace of the Lord Inquisitor's stay at this palace has been destroyed. The only reminder of the of it is its elderly servant sticking li out like a nail amidst an emptied space. Where is Xavier? Uh, the Lord Inquisitor is away on an urgent mission. Frosher's colorless, uh, colorless voice matches his glaringly useless reply. He abandoned you here. My master has no need of my services on his present expedition. I was cle uh, tasked of cleaning up. As soon as the conversation turns to Calcazar, uh, differential and ascetic overtones brighten the servant's dry voice. I wish to know where he has gone. The Lord Inquisitor warned me your lordship would inquire about that. He has left me instruction. The servitor's face relaxes as though he had fallen asleep. When he, say, uh, when he says next carries an echo of Kalazar's rumbling voice. <clears throat> your lordship, I regret that we never spoke. A matter of special importance has forced me to leave footfall. As you may have guessed, I have plans for defending the Expanse, but the events on Euphrates too have shown that the plans are compromised. The breach of secrecy has left no time for preparations. I must accomplish something monumental and dangerous. Some would say too dangerous, but I hope that your loyalty and a brisk spirit will lead you to fully appreciate what I intend to do. That is why I'm giving you an option to find me and, I hope, join me. I'm traveling to the ancient dimensional gate in the Porter Septicum system and beyond. If you wish, you can follow me and share with me the burden of responsibility of what is to come. And, if not, pray for me. For I could use any help I can get. The Emperor protects Saiken van Valencius. Abelard winces, and once again the Lord Inquisitor uh, permits himself to treat the rogue trader as a common servant. It baffles me that you are still willing to pit, uh, put up with his audacity, Lord Captain. All right. 
what was the plan Xavier was going to execute? Uh, Frosher, uh, of course I am ignorant, your lordship. It was decided due to secrecy concerns that I should not know the details. We're not going to kill him, because that's not what we're doing. Farewell, your lordship. Farewell. Well, with that, we have truly been too late. I think he's still a traitor. I'm not sure if the dogmatic, quote-unquote, pass or ending of this is to actually join up with him, but I can't see what he's doing to help uh, the... Um, the Imperium. So far what he has done, he openly colluded uh, with uh, the Drukhari. Granted, I shouldn't be the one to, uh, to speak because I do have a Drukhari in my retinue, but the point is he had ordered a lot of uh, the ship's attacks to what I have understood. And then he put um, the one uh, humanoid, um, humanum, whatever, the tech priest, uh, the twin tech priest that we uh, that we found and put her into the chaos attack um, and the chaos attack seems to also um, revolve somewhat around him. So I, I, there, there are a lot of uh, pointers towards heresy and we have indications that he um, indeed was unfaithful. Anyways. An entire group of people salutes you, most of them. Uh, an escort of honor, uh, casting of members of retinues, associates, secretaries, bodyguards, and assorted others bow deeply before you and shout their greetings, uh, making a lot of noise. It appears uh, the news of your independent departure has already spread throughout the station. The Lord Inquisitor has left us, and now you too. Footfall seems remarkably empty in the recent events. All of our decent patrons are taking a wing. There is word amongst the flock. The rogue trader Van Valencius is going on a perilous journey, so I set this blessing for the journey, noble Sykin. Opticum 22, communication, interaction, option unlock, propose of data exchange, strengthening ties and delivering material assets to an ally. Uh, a man with a scraggy beard uh, bows deeply, shaking with terror and awe. Okay. Glory to the Emperor, your lordship. You might not remember me at all. He seems to really have uh, hoped that that's the case. I'm a merchant from a fellowship of the Void, which has survived around footfall by your good grace. And then Chartis Augurius Thornfest says, It's an honor, your lordship. I'm here um, on my superior's orders to pay my respect uh, to the House Valencius. Right, why do you come here, Opticus? Um, subject status is asserted as highest trusted ally. And we got a nice little weapon there. In accordance with mutual support, please confirm that you receive this. Glory to the Omnisire Tech Priest. Glory to the Emperor. Is blessing me the only thing you're here to do, Hieronymus? And to pledge my help. You've become a paragon of the true virtue in the eyes of Carl St. Dru uh, Drusius. Go with no fear. The cult of St. Drusius will take care of your subject's faith. You are one of the pillars of faith in the expanse, and thus it would not be appropriate to see you off uh, to the ungodly dark morass between the stars without a gift. And we're getting a Crusader plate armor. That's not bad. Heavy armor. Uh, three deflection versus melee. And a lot of parry. That's actually a really nice armor. May the Emperor help you in your undertaking. Octavia. The Emeskius is going to have to go without my tips for a while. We won't go bankrupt, your lordship, but please accept the small gift from me and my business partners. Uh, the best medicine against the terrors lurk in the dark unknown. We've learned our lesson from the recent events. And what does the pirate want? The Fellowship of the Void has the great most respect for every deal, every concluded with your lordship. 
and we may not uh, be loyal some allies today but we're holding you to become uh, to become those going forward okay Um. All right. Turn to the officer. What are your orders, your lordship? Before you leave Frost uh, Footfall, I would like to present you with a statement of gratitude. And we got a nice little Architon plasma battery. Protect the expanse while I am away. Time to depart time to end the dialogues thank you so much gifts are always welcome we are the spearhead of the Imperium hmm that's a similarly good armor um, I mean he does have Twelve deflection on that other armor, which is much better and better dodged. Yeah, not even close. Nice try, but nope. And the burden of servitude. Four shots, twenty-seven. That's a hundred and eight points. Five shots, uh, thirty. That's a hundred and um, third. Um, uh, that is hundred and fifty points. Three shots, thirty-nine. That's a hundred and twenty points, which means we're going to put you there. Okay. The sooner we start. Good deals. The world trembles beneath my feet. There isn't that much uh, questions and answers. There is a dimensional gate that uh, waits for our exploration. That's all we can do at the moment. Powers unseen uncover my path. Your Lordship, we have a long expedition ahead of you. It would be reasonable to replenish supplies. Good. Let's uh, continue our buying and then we're going to go into the next part. All right, let's go. Where do we need to go? Porta Septum. I think that was somewhat uh, somewhere up there. Okay, right over there. Um, all right, let's use this uh, way. Good. This is, by the way, what we're doing quite often. Just moving from A to B. Why exactly is the warp travel here deadly? I've already opened it. A route that was already established is was the deteriorated to to deadly and I needed to reopen it again anyways so we are on our way to that to that strange gate and let's see what we're getting ourselves into I can smell that this is going to be uh, the grand finale soon there's no telling what awaits you beyond the gate 
but one thing you know for certain is there will be no turning back. It is the point of no return. Ensure that you have taken care of any unfinished business, procure necessary equipment, explore every world and complete any desired colonial projects. You will no longer be able to do th uh, so after passing. I think, listen, we got most of our stuff done here. I will do a save game here so that I can do guides on the game. But other than that, I think uh, it definitely seems like the end of the game. Very good. Let's go. Lord Captain, our orders are detecting energy currents of an indeterminate uh, uh, nature within the dimensional gate. It appears to be active. We see number of ships near the gate. Judging by their markings, they belong to the Lord Inquisitor uh, Karl Kazar's personal squadron. Lord Captain, don't take it as a cowardice, but uh, duty obliges me to ask, do you realize that this may end up being a one-way voyage, uh, don't you? Crew, this is the Lord uh, Captain speaking. I'm taking the ship into uh, the unknown where danger lies. Glory awaits. Are you with me? For a while you hear no response, when the silence is broken by sounds of heavy footfalls. The rhythmic stomping grows louder and louder, thousands of feet striking the decks and marching into oblivion under your banner. Onwards. Yes, Lord Captain. Whatever is waiting there, beware of when Valencius is coming. Contact the ships, please. Incoming mes message. Sanctions for approaching the Xeno artifact are granted. Sanction for passing to the other side granted safe travels the Emperor protects looks like the Lord Inquisitor has warned them about our visit An approaching shuttle convoy is requesting permission to dock is asking for an audience who wants to come on board Rogue trader winter scale we killed him We killed Winterscale. How is it possible that he's still here? Is it his little cousin? He's trying to uh, take over um, his uncle's reign. I'm pretty sure we killed him in the jungle. It was satisfying. But why is he coming on board? Alright, let's find it out. Shall we? High Factotium Genus Dunrock says, Friends and allies of your dynasty have arrived from ships currently in the system. They would like to pay your respects to the rogue trader in person. In Cynthia Cordia, uh, folds her arms at her chest, marking the sign of Aquilia. Her eyes are aflame with fanatical conviction. Psyken, Van Valencius, I bear good tidings. The Emperor looks favorably on your campaign. Head into the darkness and beyond on it. Ah, okay, it's Eva in winter scale and not the other winter scale. My friend, you've um, been by my side whenever I... No, whenever my dynasty has needed support from a, a wise alley, please know this will always be appreciated. The Emperor protects. Verily, the righteous shall inherit his realm. The rogue trader readily finishes in line with the first litany as though waiting for it. Why have you come? Surely not to just bless my expedition. There is nothing in Insidia's clear eyes but righteous conviction that almost seems inhuman. Um, that was the path revealed to me. You're going to be in a place where evil is being wrong about the Emperor. If you step into the darkness, you can pluck the poison root from uh, which the vile deed stems. As such, your path must be charted and cleared by those of pure faith. Therefore, please accept the gift of righteous annihilation so that come the hour of judgment, it helps you to direct the course into the right direction. 
A nice melter weapon, 40 to 60 uh, points of damage. <laughs> that's a really nice weapon. Uh, that's a melter weapon, apparently. Uh, doesn't have a lot of range with range 2, but it sure packs a punch. My gratitude for your support. May the path of uh, those who extract his will be radiant ray in an all-consuming inferno. Thanks for your visit. Uh, Ivan Winterscale would have liked to follow you into the fire, but I'm afraid I have much in the way of business that's keeping me here. The Emperor protects. I've not received an uh, invitation to your Magni accession. That is merely because the ceremony has yet to be held. You've done quite a bit as well before, and uh, you officially have been announced yourself as the heir taken the dynasty of reign of power though unfortunately my ascent was not a, a bloodless one but now it is time to celebrate my protectorate stands, stands to perish I will invite you to my ceremony once you have returned and my people are no longer suffering terrifying death what's the matter of business here my dynasty needs healing falls to discover new paths of colonies isolated in the warp stone to weed out the villainy that has infected the Caligus court, to help the worlds uh, that have blood dried, to stand upon the Xenos who terrorize the Protectorate, to wipe out the final Dorn infiltrators, etc. etc. I don't know if I have the strength to do all of that, but I will not back down. Why have you come to give you a trophy that may serve you well in the battles to come? This used to belong to Caligus was made for war, but I have no desire in wielding it. This talisman grants the wearer dodge bonus, but reduces fellowship. That's well, pretty good if the wearer is heretical. They do not suffer fellowship penalties from the talisman, but gain an additional damage against humans. That is a fantastic talisman. Psychenman Valencius when the hour is dark, only a coward and heretic will not dare to look uh, death into the face. I would like to join you in your crusade beyond the boundaries. Will you allow? Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Welcome on board, Idira. That was unexpected. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, survey the bridge. Start the translation procedure. Let's go. The ancient gate, long impenetrable for the rogue trader, was at last ready to reveal its secrets. After gathering allies and preparing to venture into the unknown, the Lord Captain plunged headlong into the darkness that held ancient nightmares. And the answers to all his questions. Oh, that doesn't look good. It looks like Necrons down there. Uh oh. Would be cool if uh, Necrons were included as well. Translation complete, Lord Captain. Current coordinates unknown and indeterminate. Uh, all that's uh, that's in the ship's immediate vicinity is the dimensional gate that has gone into passive mode and a large amount of debris. Uh, no enemies detected. Lord Ulfer may need to be informed that the coordinates his esteemed brothers traveled um, to match locations somewhere in these star systems. Ooh! Everything is a reason. The threats of my brothers uh, weed are die together. I see black manes will in our fi uh, in our meeting finally approaching. Let us find them aid water for such is our destiny's wish. What happened to the dimension gate? And series have proposed a hypothesis that it entered some kind of recharge mode, or at least that's what they want us to believe. What kind of debris? Uh, those ships are carcasses, judging from the marking. Markings, they were part of the Lord Inquisitor's fleet and likely acted as patrolling force. The damage doesn't look like it came from any weapon. 
um, we know. And the way the debris is scattered suggests that the battle was short. Someone attacked and destroyed every one of them in a blink of an eye. What is this place? Can't say, your lordship. This is unfamiliar stars. And the system is not listed on our astrological data. We are in uncharted territory. The gifts um, passed to us by the esteemed allies from Footfall likewise have been inventoried and prepared. We got neurostimulants. Yep, they're good. Advanced medkits. They are fantastic. Tesla grenades. Ooh, they are really good. Battle stimulators and uh, holy fire. Excellent. You've jumped into uncharted sector on the edge of the expanse. The dimensional gate has closed and you're currently cut off from the rest of the Quranus expanse. And that means we're potentially pretty far away somewhere. But we don't know where and we can't go back. No way, we got a couple more options. Okay, cool. Well, we're starting with uh, what we know. And then we might even be able to open a warp way back. Who knows? All right, couple of things. First of all, hull repair. Secondly, um, we do have a couple of other things to do. Um, for starters, our most heretical of followers, Iridia. Uh, did gain a fantastic item here. Which is good, which is really good. Uh, Talisman, Grand Sawara, Dodge Bonus, and grants additional damage against humans. That's a good uh, Talisman. All right, um, what else? We do have uh, these cool grenades, Tesla grenades, which appear to be good. And they only take, no, they take two AP. Okay, never mind. Then we got a new um, ally uh, who is a soldier and a master technician, a tactician. Okay, and she starts directly at level 36, it seems. And she has a couple of origin talents for one round. All area attacks automatically critically hit and her critical damage is increased by willpower. She has quite a bit of willpower and she has a good ballistic skill. She has some agility so I think we can work with that. Um, we can work with that. All right, we leveled up um, our new companion. I'm a bit torn because now we have so many companions that uh, group one and two will not even work anymore. Uh, we effectively have a lot of groups uh, uh, now, even more than two. Uh, unfortunately, we can't leave Saiken out of it uh, because it would be cool if another rogue trader essentially leads the fray. But okay. Having scanned the surface, officers report the remains of an exploration camp to which a team of scouts immediately ascend. Scouting party is confused. All the equipment bears the Van Valencia's coat of arms, but there is no trace of anyone other than the rogue traders. Uh, mm, uh, scouts. The scouts find traces of gunfire in the field equipment. Single unharmed data crypt is found uh, on one of the cogiators. Group of tech priests successfully decrypts part of the data, including an order to eliminate the exploration team signed by Theodora Van Valencius. Not far from the camp is a pit 
uh, full of charred bones and fragments bearing the road crater's coat of arms. The scout's report leaves um, Abelard confused uh, with conflicting feeling, despite of his certainty that her lordship Theodora would not give such an order without good reason. Abelard's expression is a zombre like a missionary who lost faith. Okay, we're coming closer to what has happened here. A couple of destroyed ships. A couple of Drukhari ships. Lord Captain, we got company, a whole brood of Xenos, except they're in no hurry to attack. They sent a Vox transmission, so our eggheads are trying to decipher what they're babbling in their language. Will you just take a look at these entitled pricks? Lord Captain, you're not going to believe it. The enemy of humanity requests nay. They demand to be admitted aboard the board so they can have words, but not with you. They want to talk with uh, their disgraced kinsmen, whom you've taken under your wing. Uh, Saiken, if the worthless scum wishes to see me so badly, I am willing to lend my ear to their pleads and hear what they have to say. Tell the Drukhari we will hear what they have to say. All right, Marasai is back in business. Still thinking about how to construct my team because it was so convenient to have 10 companions and basically half of the companions are doing one uh, are on the good side and the other half are sort of on the not so good side. And switching between the two groups was fun. But now having an 11th companion, that actually is creating a couple of issues. The Xenos in front of you exchange wary glances and curt remarks that the Elicitor cannot recapture and comprehend at least uh, one of the Drukhari starts forward and takes off his helmet. His hair is bone white and his face is marked with tattoos not entirely dissimilar to Marasai's. Uh, greetings, uh, Marasai, Ashuria, Dracon of the Cabal, uh, Reaving Tempest, Eviserator of Ilin, uh, Iliridos, Blaze of the Barken Kingdom and Slayer of the uh, Corosius the Pale. Karael, your sim, uh, sim, uh, psychonific skills have not dulled since you lost your mistress. They will be of use and yet speak. Alright, Karael says the Reaving Tempest is dying. Since the death of Archon Ymiris, our territories have been ravaged and our warriors openly attacked. Mercenaries have turned their blades against our Cabalites. The air is rife with rumors that our supreme patron will soon allow our spire to be con, uh, consigned in a bloody reaping. And that is not to mention the fact that our shelter has become a new dysfunctional point. Karalea literally uh, spits out the word. The warp rages in the spire, uh, flooding the city with demon hordes. It is no secret how the rift came to appear in the very abode of the reaving tempest. Uh, Marasai says, so what do you want from me? From a dracon cast down from his post and banished from the ranks of the Reaving Tempest, from a Dukari banned from the Kamarak itself. Uh, we need a leader. We need a symbol of power that led the Cabal to might and prosperity for centuries. The lineage of Ezuri Rash uh, has not yet faded, which means it is destined to return. The Reaving Tempest is calling out for you. Kare looks over Marazai appraisingly, not even hiding the disgust in his gaze and the falsity in his voice. Oh, he is surviving. Scion, a scion reeks in desperation and thirst. We are denied the luxury of choice. Marazai narrows his eye. Let us say I accept your offer. What use do I have for a handful of Drukhari huddling behind you, Karel? Answer me. Does the reveling Tempest still live? Or is this the death rattle of the fall? Karel leans forward. Two raids managed to hide in the tangle of the webway and are waiting the, chosens, uh, the chosen hour. There are Cabal troops hiding in the bowel of the Kamarak itself. We are 
biding, uh, ab abiding our time. When these forces come together, they will be enough to take over another spire and absorb several smaller cabals who will serve us. Alright, I will help but my assistant does not come free of charge. None of us are going to bend our backs out of compassion for the weak psyche. Kariel says we cannot wait uh, uh, long for your decision. Those who have found a refuge in real space have been here for too long. We are forced to fight another, uh, find another, one another, forced to seek torment in the blood of our kin. Do not tarry. Find our base in the neighboring star system where our raid is hiding from the scheming of the other cabals. You should hurry. The voice of the of uh, uh, Slanesh in the minds of our companions grows louder with every passing day. The cabal wants me back. Hmm. How very curious. What are you going to do? Answer the summons, attend the meeting, look into the faces of those who have gathered there and start rebuilding the Cabal. Very well, let us talk with your kin. Excellent, we have the coordinates and Marazai is off for another personal uh, quest or we're going to have uh, another personal quest with him which is fine I like uh, to finish things so that was indeed interesting warp gate here is currently idle and we got another event the rocky world uh, is bound in ice and shrouded in thick uh, fogs of dark clouds Uger, uh, ogres trace the faint signal to an area under the ice alongside a distress call whose encryption matches that of the Lord Inquisitor. Let's decrypt it. Lex interrogators quickly and effortlessly break the, uh, the clever code. The transmission goes as following. Arcolite 17-1, Lord Inquisitor, the event a horrific vision occurred. Goodbye, the Emperor protects. Good. If we're going down... We have too many potential team members. I want to give uh, Incendia Quarter a chance. Um, I'm wondering if I take her, whom she is going to replace. Or are we just going to stick uh, with our existing team? Incendia, for your info, has two pistols. I gave her also the Melter weapon. Um, and she comes in pre-leveled. I wouldn't necessarily say that she's a good character. She's potentially amongst the weakest characters that we do have. Um, but I haven't seen her fight, so who knows, right? She could theoretically um, step in for Jay. That is an option. But Jay is an officer, so that's a much better choice. Uh, she could uh, step in for Iridia. Uh, Idira, sorry. Or for Marazai, uh, which will leave us with a bit of a front line, mid line, back line, back line. You know what? Why not? Let's give her one uh, fight. And this definitely ne uh, looks like ne uh, Necron territory. We're going to uh, do that the next time, though, because we have run out of time. And this is a perfect uh, cliffhanger to not make it too long of an episode. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, as the Necrons awake, uh, make sure that we counter them properly by clicking the like button. Thank you, and have a good one. Bye-bye.